Welcome back to the garage. What's up guys? So today I've got a little upgrade for my Frontier. If you're a Frontier guy, you might be able to see the subtle differences between 2005 to 2021, but there's only a few and they're very minor. One of my gripes was just how dated, you know, like the, the lights look. I think the tail lights on the Frontier are super dated looking. So it's, it's nice to see that someone has a upgrade option finally for the Frontier. Um, I'll have a down in the description where I purchased these. Um, if you like them, you want to grab a set for yourself. But they look kind of cool. I think they should be a nice upgrade over the stock lens, the stock tail light assembly. Uh, they kind of have this cool uh, DRL style diffused lens that should look pretty good. It's all LED and whatnot. Um, the sizing dimensions all identical from 2005 to 2021, but there are a few slight differences that makes the install a little bit more difficult than just a straight bolt in affair if you have newer than 2014. So where the issues start, and I don't know if they just messed this up, but uh, physically there's this pin here that actually locates the headlight or the tail light um, right here. And if I line them up, you can see the aftermarket tail lights about an inch or so higher. So they don't line up with this white clip. Um, so that's not gonna be utilized, but it does wedge kind of on the backside here. Plus you got the hardware still mounts okay the main issue is actually the wiring so uh, factory tail light has these three clips and this has this which is a eight pin it only has six of the pins in the clip but and then this is a six pin clip as well and in the amazon description they actually note that you have two different wiring options and i don't know what that is for so hopefully one of these lines up for the 2005 to 2014 frontiers but of course neither one of them are going to work for my frontier so i had to source down uh source some new clips and there's two different versions there's uh, these two pin and then three pin and i'll have that down in the description as well of where i bought these and what model numbers they are and whatnot so they actually make these uh directional so you don't mess up the plug-in so if you see this two pin these are all sumitomo style clips they're they're all pretty fairly easy to source so this one has a little tab off to the left side right here and this one has a little tab off to the right side i was only able to source with any sort of ease the one that actually lines up with this one so it's kind of hard to plug in one-handed but i'll give it a shot oh, and there it is so clips in there uh, like I said, so I just ordered four of these. Um, I'm gonna have to basically grind off, file off this little ear right here to fit in there and it should work fine. It'll basically make it directional assuming I plug this one in first. But I really wanted to preserve uh, the factory wiring so it's all reversible, you know? So I can basically cut this here and start putting on these clips. So it all just plugs and plays in case, you know, any of the LEDs will not burn out on this. Um, I can revert back to the factory tail lights with ease and you know everything's still legal and whatnot and that was really crucial for me I didn't I didn't want to actually cut the stock harness and wire this up I'm, I'm not a big fan of that so um yeah let's get started it was, a little, it was kind of a pain in the ass to find these um to get the right ones but I, again I'll have the description we'll have um where I ordered these and bar numbers down in the description uh same with these and let's get going on install
So looking at the tail lights, uh, from the bottom we got reverse, in the middle we got turn signal, and on top we got actually brake. So same thing, reverse, turn, brake. If we go back with the harness, same thing. Uh, they just lay out like this. So on the bottom we got reverse, middle, turn, brake on the top with a three pin. Um, the ground down plug that we cut the ear off uh, is going to be for the bottom plug, which is the reverse. So keep that in mind. That goes reverse. You got to make sure you get these right. Otherwise, you got to remove the pins and do it again. And after a little bit of figuring out and trying to decipher what is going on in these pictures, I think I got it. Um, it's definitely not ideal, but it should be good enough to test to make sure I have everything hooked up. I actually have the pins just kind of just wedged into the factory harness clips. Um, nothing is shorting out, nothing is touching. I know my, uh, my crimps are kind of garbage. Uh, the wire connections are good. Um, but the, the crimp portion around the insulator are always garbage for me. I'm going to go back and uh, use some heat shrink on all these, slide them up, and then once I get them put inside the clips, I'll slide it back down, heat them up. Uh, it should keep everything pretty well insulated. But for the time being, it's good enough to test. Um, fingers crossed, hopefully I have everything right. Uh, let's give it a go. Well, it's done, they're installed, and I have to say, they look so much better than the factory tail lights. So much more modern. The illuminated strip just looks really, really cool. Uh, wiring wasn't too bad. I actually, if you would have caught it, maybe. I actually wired it wrong originally for just the, the main light and, and the brake light. Uh, this, this portion right here was on, but not this. And then when you hit the brake pedal, this would illuminate, and that's actually backwards. I will make sure to have the correct wiring diagram uh, and pictures and whatnot um, uploaded somewhere so that you guys can make sure to you know get the, the correct wiring right away. Uh, but overall, I'm super happy with how it came out. Oh, that's kind of neat. That's pretty cool. I've, I've actually seen that. That's neat. But on that note, I am super happy with how they came out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.